Hey guys, Alexandra Lysak here with My Sunshine Adventures. I am super excited. It is, everybody knows, my favorite time of the month, the nonprofit interview. And I love my nonprofits. And this is a new one to me, you guys. So I hope you're as excited as I am to learn about this one. It is a local nonprofit. Yep, yep. Um, I'm sitting here today with Miss Bethany Layton, who is the Community Engagement Director for Phoenix Hometown Hires. That's right. Yay! Yeah. And you guys have been around since? 2002. 2002. Um, we were founded by Reverend Don Skinner um, okay. in 2002 and were then um, known as Phoenix Employment Ministry okay. and merged with Hometown Hires in 2015 to become Phoenix Hometown Hires. Oh, um, our mission has, has stayed the same and we're still doing the same great work yeah. um, in the community but just with a different name. That's very exciting. Yeah. And what they do, you guys, from what I've learned, is you help uh, match employers to employment opportunities. Exactly. Um, yep. So what makes those people, the people that you're helping, get the employment so special? Yeah, so we run a jobs week pretty much every other week throughout the year and help teach um, job readiness skills to individuals in the community who might have a certain barrier or, or struggle with finding employment um, and, and put them through that 32 hour week of job training. They graduate and then they get paired with one of our employment counselors and we work with them as a 50-50 relationship um, to help them find employment. A lot of times they, they come in um, discouraged and frustrated with their job search but by the end of it yeah. they have so much more confidence and are ready to go out there and conquer the world. And yeah. um, by having a team and a support here at Phoenix to help them overcome any of the barriers that have gotten in their way, um, they really are much more successful at uh, gaining employment. That's and awesome. uh, so far this year, we've helped uh, close to 120 individuals find jobs and are awesome. on our way to um, hitting our goal of 200. That's really cool. It's funny, when I walked in this morning to do the interview, there was a gentleman that had just come back from yeah. an interview, and the smile on his face is just, yeah. oh my gosh, you know, I mean, I was yeah. so excited. He yeah. was so excited. Everyone greeted him. He was, I mean, he was the most perfect gentleman I've ever met as far as like opening the door because if you don't know yet I'm in a walker right now so just everything about the situation that I first encountered walking in the door was just like I'm so excited yeah. to be here yeah. and, to, and I got yeah. to see it in real yeah. life you know yeah, yeah. Um, oftentimes it's they become like family to yeah. us and we are their biggest cheerleaders as they go out there and, and find employment yeah. so when they get an interview um, we we are so excited when they come back from that we want to know how it went and I um, want to know how it went to, to put the their name on the board when they do get a job. That's really cool. Yeah. So there's like a whole process that you guys go through, right? Yep. From the time they first come into the door to the time they find that position. Can yep. you kind of explain what yep. you told me about that? Yeah. So jobs week, as I mentioned before, is the first step in our process. And okay. it's one week. They have to be here for the full 32 hours. We partner with tons of volunteers in the community who have expertise in HR management, have interviewed tons of people, and they are the ones facilitating the workshops. So we do everything from, you know, mock interviews to networking to elevator pitches to how to address a criminal history in an interview um, and they're the ones that that go out there and teach those classes and the participants have to be there that full week and then they graduate on Friday and like I said before they get paired with an employment counselor who works with them one-on-one -on -one as they search for a job mm -hmm. and then once they do find a job we write their name on the board and get super excited yeah. and then we have a second program which is the second step and that's our life skills program which is yeah. all, ultimately about stability um, because that's what that's what we want for our participants and I'm assuming that's stuff like budgeting and yep, so finding housing yeah. and dressing for work and those kind of some things. of that yeah so the first phase is all about goal setting and personal development okay. figuring out you know that they have a job you know keeping that job moving up in that job um, but kind of looking in, interpersonally about what else they want in life you know setting some goals and then the second phase is all about financial literacy how to manage your budget and uh, your credit score and and you know buying versus renting all of those things that we I all can, can benefit class. from. Yeah, I can take yeah, that class. Learn something. <laughs> and then the final phase is they give back. Um, they yeah. they choose a, a service project and they give back to the community. And so they are then taking all the knowledge and expertise wow. that they've learned and, and helping someone out. So it's a great full circle. And that's really um, cool. They graduate from that nine month program and we have a graduation ceremony. And so it's a really special that's special awesome. time. Awesome. Yeah. When you're um, is there certain businesses that you guys work with already in the community yeah. that are really um, engaged in the program yeah. and really support you guys. Yeah. So we're always looking to partner with employers. We do a monthly lunch and learn. So if any of y'all are interested in hiring some of our participants and want to learn more about our program, um, the next one is September 28th at noon. We provide lunch um, and just
just want to share our work with you, um, invite you to come to that. But we are always looking to partner with employers because we want to match our participants to any needs that you have. Okay. Um, and so currently we, we work with a wide range of employers, everyone from like McDonald's um, to, to Monteith Construction to Publix. Um, There's a wide range of, of different employers. So there's a lot of different space. industries that you guys yeah. can offer employment exactly. in. Yeah. And that really, I think, helps the employee get engaged more when they're right. in an industry right. that they're interested right. in or they feel like they could be valued. Right, right. exactly. So we're really looking to match um, a participant's skill set and passion and interest in, in who they are with um, the needs an employer has. So we don't want them to hire just out of uh, doing a good deed kind of. We want them to okay. to hire because they have a specific need for a job and our participant matches that um, those qualities. So let me ask something I, I probably haven't asked you yet. On the employer side, what is what does it look like for them when they start to hire that employee? Is that something that you guys work with them for a certain period after the employee is hired? Yeah, so I think that kind of makes our program unique in that if there's any issues that come up after they've hired one of our participants, they can always give us a call. We develop a, a deeper relationship with the participants because they're with us for so long and we get to know them. Um, so we can kind of let them know if something else is going on. Um, we just have a, a deeper relationship with the participants. But also, um, you know, as higher needs come up, different employers let us know about what's going on and, and we can kind of look through our database of who, who's looking for work and be able to match someone. Yeah. Um, but always looking to partner with employers and, and meet those needs that they have. Okay. Yeah. What's your most successful story like? Do you have yeah. someone that's like been in work, like yeah. they struggled to find work and now they have like job, like the same job they've been yeah. promoted for five years yeah. or something? So, I like those kind of stories. Yeah. <laughs> Travis is someone who came through our program, uh, gosh, two years now. Um, he was from Wilmington grew up here, went to high school at New Hanover County. We have a great video about him on our website if you want to check it out. Okay. Um, Which is? www.phoenixhometownhires.org. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he graduated from New Hanover High School, um, struggled with finding work, um, ended up dealing drugs for a time period, was incarcerated actually here in the Harrelson Center, spent some time in jail. Oh, wow. Um, if you didn't know, the Harrelson Center used to be the old jail. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And then was released and really struggled to find work because of his criminal background. Um, came to Phoenix, um, spent the week of uh, jobs week with us, um, and gained employment at Monteith Construction. And he has moved up in there. He's been there for oh. over a year now, and he's actually getting ready to start some classes at Cape Fear Community College um, in construction and, and become certified. Um, That's so exciting! So you, if you came to any of our luncheons or have seen the video, um, he's one of our, our participants and is a great guy. That's so, fantastic! Yeah, yeah. How long have you been with the organization? So it's going on 18 months. Oh my um, gosh! So almost, almost two years, which yeah. is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. What, um, as far as your specific needs now, yeah. are there certain things that um, maybe us sunshiners can help yeah. with as as far yeah. as, I know some of our sunshiners are business owners. Some of them right. are, um, they work for other companies. So I'm sure there's something yeah. that we could do yeah. to, to help f facilitate yeah. this, this this incredible yeah. program. So we are always looking for volunteers to, to work in our office and to help facilitate um, some of our workshops, to do mock interviews, to work with our participants in life skills. So love to have more volunteers never um never have too many volunteers and they're like the, the the partners with the person so they're helping them teach the classes on financial literacy yeah. and networking and yeah, hr depends, expectations yeah. depends on what the volunteers okay they are and what their interests are but we would, okay we would find the the right spot for them um and then also just employers you know looking for people to come in and and potentially hire from us and so as i mentioned before that we do these monthly lunch and learns where we invite september um, 28th like write that down on your calendar calendar yep, now yep. at 12 o'clock yep okay. noon here okay. at our offices um and just want to be able to share more about what we do with employers and and hope that you would consider hiring one of our participants so yeah i would invite you to just come um you can rsvp to me um my email address is bethany at org, and just come and learn more that's and awesome. see if there's a way to, to link you to some of our participants well that's really awesome yeah. i just want to say thank you so yeah, much for having for awesome. coming today yeah. is there anything you want to leave the sunshine with as far as you know besides just do what we say yeah yes, <laughs> us, um, give us a call we'd love to sit down and meet with you and, and share awesome. more and so. it's phoenixhometownhires.org yeah, and then it. what's your office number it's 910-343-8469 awesome thank yeah, you so much Bethany for joining us great. everybody remember check out the September 1st newsletter
together. If you have any availability to work with Phoenix Hometown Hires, just to, I mean, it's not going to hurt you to learn more information, right? Absolutely. You get a free lunch, yep. September 28th. Yep. You, you know, we're just going to keep repeating this date every yep. time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but make sure to share the information. If you have any questions, reach out to Bethany. And everybody have a great and sunny day. And have a great, bye. Thanks.